Okay, everybody, today we're going to be exploring the top five lores that you can download for stable diffusion, which will improve your image quality or enhance the images in different types of ways, which will be handy for a lot of people out there on different types of projects that you are prompting. So here we have my stable diffusion open. I have done a very simple prompt here for testing. And here you can see the image. And here is the image without the SDV. Um, being used so you can see already the vase are already like enhancing the images quite a lot but that's not what we're going to be talking about here today in this video that's another you know another topic of its own so the thing we're going to be using here is called more details and this is a very essential um, lore that I've been using a lot and what it basically does is well what the description does so this will enhance the image quality and add a lot of more detail into it. And usually you don't want to run it at uh, one strength. So usually I run somewhere between 0 0.5 to um, 0 0.3, somewhere in that mark, depending on whatever you're going to be doing 3D images or something of 2D nature, there's always going to be a different impact and obviously what type of checkpoints you're running and what other lawyers you're running on the background will obviously have also an impact on the end result. But this is a very convenient um, lore that I'm using quite a lot in many of my images. It's not exactly like um, improving the quality of the image, it's just adding more details into it. So here we can see the image now and you can see that there's a lot more like details on the hair. Let's look at a bit of a comparison here so we can see better. So there's a lot more shadows on the hairs. We can see the eyes are a bit more detailed. There's a bit more shadows here on the neck and you can improve this by adding more strength to it and obviously add more sampling steps. But you can see clearly um, a lot of different improvements here by using this. So this is one of the things I really recommend everybody using because this is most handy uh, lores that I've been basically downloading. As for number four, we have one called 3D rendering style. Now it needs to be understood that there's a lot of perfect checkpoints which are gonna be just doing the job for you, creating the image in a lot more 3D way. But in case you have a certain styled checkpoint that you're already using and you like that, but you want it to make it feel more 3D or less 3D than it is, this is an actual good uh, Laura to use and we're going to be using it at 1.2 strength it's going to give you wildly different results based on the actual strength here and it does do a pretty good job of transforming the images a lot more into 3d looking it doesn't necessarily make them better looking depending on what you're going to be doing so here's the 3d version and you can see that it maybe is not as detailed or it doesn't look as good as the 2d one but you can clearly see the transformation here on the background that they, those trees look 3d objects and the facial structure here looks a lot more 3D. So this is another really good tool. You can use this also in a lot more negative way to basically use an existing checkpoint that is 3D based to kind of give you that feel that you actually desire to. But this needs a lot more juggling around and adjusting the numbers to get that right feel and right touch to your images. And then we're going to be going into number three, which is a lore called Animate Line Art slash Manga-like. And it's a very self-explanatory. This is mostly for 2D images. I didn't really have a lot of great results with 3D stuff. So basically it just makes your image feel a lot more like a line art, something that looks a bit more realistic than being draw hand-drawn instead of like being a digital art. And this can be used in different ways to make the image look like more like a manga or just like American comics. So this can be utilized on basically many 2D images out there. And I think the quality is pretty good. So here you can see the difference. Let me open them up. Now let's compare the two images. So here's the original and here's the new one. Now there's a lot of drastic changes here. You can see the outlines here are extremely like very well drawn and this looks more like it's been hand drawn in my opinion. This looks more kind of like a watercolor slash pastel style here and you can see that there's a lot more of like black outlines on all the hair parts and all the eyes and everything it's like a lot more clear but obviously the image is totally different here but this is another one that I would recommend using for 2D images for people who want to have a bit more like a comic style uh, look for them and especially people who want to create manga panels as well so I do recommend 
the anime outline Laura. Okay, and then we have number two, which is a lore called Saturation Tweak. And this is a bit more of a niche one in a, in a sense, but it can be used on both 2D and 3D images. And it will have a very different effect on them. On 2D, it will kind of change the more of the color scheme. But on 3D, it will create a sort of an interesting effect. So here we have the original image, and I kind of tried to go for a bit more of a classical 80s style. And it will create actually this more of like a VHS style saturation on these images based on how much strength do you actually add to the LoRa. And in case you're kind of like doing a more of like a retro style images or something that looks a bit more older. Now, as you can see, the coloring is definitely that you could see from a back of a VHS tape or on a, like an old movie that has been you know recorded on VHS so it gives this sort of an interesting glow and I've noticed a lot of people are stylistically doing a lot more images like these and this is actually like a really really cool it's a lot more of an experimental way but it gives images a lot more of a different look into them so I definitely recommend the saturation for both 2D and 3D image users out there. And then for the last place, we have perhaps the most important LoRa that will change the quality of your images, and that is called Simply Negative Version 1. And there is many different textual inversions and other LoRa's which are doing the same thing. And as you can see in the image, I basically put out a prompt fashion model waving her hand. And you can see there's a, well, an off amount of fingers here or they are distorted and this is basically very common for all types of images in stable diffusion for example if you have been using mid-journey i would argue that mid-journey is a bit better at generating hands and non-distorted hands and most of the time it doesn't have this issue where you actually have to prompt in like hands that are not disfigured but in stable diffusion i feel like every time i'm doing something i always have to have some type of hand prompt added in in case it's an image that has something to do with the hands or the hands are showing and here we can see the actual fix here now the other hand is totally hidden but now we have a clear hand here five fingers all of them are like basically right sizes and everything and it's really remarkable how detailed Ah, oh, this one is and it kind of make an actual really deep impact and you're going to be seeing with this on other lot of you know prompts when you're browsing through Civitize or some other site. Now that's basically the five essential lowers I wanted to show you. Obviously there's a bunch of other ones which you want to definitely look into but these are going to be very useful in general for a lot of people who are doing varied style of images out there. Now leave a comment down below and remember to also subscribe because we're going to be doing a lot more AI based videos, whatever it's stable diffusion, whatever it's mid journey and obviously we're going to be doing text based and chat GPT and all types of AI stuff in general. So in case you're in the journey for learning and you know making this your career or something, you definitely should subscribe. Thanks for watching. I will be seeing you in the next video when it will be out. Cheers.